Kansas basketball falls to UCF on the road. I don't, I can't, this whole league is good. 12 of the 14 teams in this league will get to the end of the season and make a case to be an NCAA tournament team. It has become absurd how deep the Big 12 is. It's not just, oh yeah, there are seven good teams or half the league is good. There are 10 teams, 12, legitimately 12 teams that can build a resume that makes sense for March. Let's start with Kansas and the UCF game. Kansas is killing UCF to the point where in the first half, it was my brother's birthday yesterday. I was like, oh, you know, I'll turn this one off. I'll stop paying attention. Kansas routes. And I tweeted out, they're giving away free money and it's Kansas minus six and a half. The Jayhawks lose 65 to 60. That's no slight to UCF, but also it's kind of a slight to UCF. You're playing Kansas. Who is the inferior team on paper beforehand? Obviously, it was UCF, who was playing at nine and four against number three team in the country and Hunter Dickinson and Kevin McCullough and Kansas has three of the best players in the conference. They lead. They have a player who leads points, rebounds and assists. And UCF didn't just win. They dominated the second half, 36, 23, ended the first half on a solid run, on a salty run. And they were in Kansas inside and bullying the Kansas Jayhawks getting fouled in, and, and look these fouls this is maybe the only time I'll ever say it in Big 12 play most of them were actual fouls and I don't think that Kansas was called for every time they did foul you there were a couple times I was like oh that was a bit of a hack there on Kansas and how do how do I this is the first time you're getting to to meet me in the wake of a Kansas loss how do I address this because guess what if you're a Kansas fan if you're a Kansas fan plug your ears 13 of the 14 teams in the Big 12 don't like Kansas and they get really happy when Kansas loses. That is what you've earned when you're the best team in the Big 12. When you are the historic powerhouse, when you're the team that's dominated the last two decades, you've won the most Big 12 championships, you are hated by everybody else. So as the rest of the conference dances on your grave, I don't know if I'm dancing, I'm just a little bit more stunned than anything else at the way that Kansas fell apart. Now, Robbie Triano, friend of the show, tweeted it out. I think it's a great point. About this time, most years, it feels like game three, game four, a Big 12 play somewhere in that window. Kansas loses and we think, oh, this is the year. Kansas isn't going to be that good anymore. And maybe they're going to lose another time or two. And then we look up in week three or four, a Big 12 play. And Kansas is Kansas again. They're still the favorite to win the Big 12. They got a home game against Oklahoma coming up. They're going to win that. Listen to this. Kansas at home against Oklahoma. Win at Oklahoma State. Win at West Virginia. Win at home against Cincinnati. Probably a win. Their upcoming four games are going to be easy enough. They're going to keep themselves inside of the top 10. Speaking of, it was a bad night for top 10 teams in college basketball. Kansas being a part of that, that 65 to 60 loss to UCF. And as for UCF, I was impressed. I know I opened this segment with Kansas lost to UCF, but UCF beat Kansas. They did the end of the game. This wasn't a fluke. It wasn't UCF hitting a crazy last second shot. UCF dominated not just two minutes of the game to go on a big run, but the entire second half and really like the last 23, 24 minutes. Credit to the UCF Knights. They looked really good. I, I, sorry. I'm un, I was unfamiliar with your game. Jalen Sellers. That guy's good at basketball. Then there was TCU over Oklahoma. Now this is one that I sent. Can I peel back the curtain a little bit? I'll introduce you to my buddies. I sent it to my friends, my my old college buddies in their in the group chat. And Parker, of course, he had to pop back with, "You think you mean unranked TCU minus five and a half against Oklahoma? The same Oklahoma team is in the top ten. That sounds stupid. Maybe on paper, but this is the Big Twelve. While it's an upset, TCU upset a top ten team. Uh, it wasn't really an upset. I had TCU picked in this one. Anybody who knows ball had TCU picked in this one, and I'm still not believing in the Oklahoma Sooners. Oklahoma's best win this season came against who? USC, maybe by two, right? Iowa's not good. That doesn't look very good. Uh, They beat Mississippi Valley State, if you will. They beat Arkansas. That win doesn't look very good. Monmouth, they struggled against. Uh, They they struggled against the University of Central Arkansas. They beat Iowa State at home. That's probably their marquee win right now. They haven't beaten a top 25 team. I don't know if they've beaten that definitive tournament team either, and yet they're in the top 10 because they have won the games and been placed in front of them, and they lose at TCU. Though I think this TCU team is better This TCU team is better than most people think, and I had them highly rated in my preseason Big 12 standings. That Nevada loss doesn't look good. The Clemson loss is looking worse. But now, after the loss to Kansas, that was good. Like That's as win as you can get in a loss. I think TCU is in a much better spot, 
And I'm confident that, listen, listen, I'm confident the Horn Frogs will make it to March. 44%. They shot worse than Oklahoma. They shot 1% better from three, 29%, but they only turned the ball over seven. They got out rebounded too. But they only turned the ball over seven times. This was not peak TCU. It wasn't. This was not the best we could see TCU. It's not the best we are going to see TCU this season. Yet they still won. They covered 80 to 71. What a shootout. Just a high flying shootout. Actually, I really enjoyed watching this game. I did not enjoy watching the Kansas UCF game because it became such a, such a rock fight. It was low scoring. I don't know, man. Like Kansas could never dominate or change pace. UCF just, they just won the game. That's wild. I didn't see that coming. But now 12 teams, maybe UCF is still the 12th team, but they just beat Kansas. What do we do? Can we get 12 teams in a march? Like, I don't know who to leave out right now, except for West Virginia and Oklahoma State, who are going to fire their coaches. Who else do we leave out? Everybody else is good. Maybe Cincinnati, maybe BYU falls off. I don't know. I don't. Oh. Coming up, Nick Saban retired. It does something for the Big 12. It does. It does. Trust me on this. You're on Lockdown Big 12, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's show is brought to you by FanDuel. FanDuel is where I go to make and or lose money. Look, not every bet is safe. Not every bet is perfect. But at FanDuel, it's easy to bet. And you can make 100% of your money, 200% of your money, a million percent of your money at FanDuel. And they're giving you special offers right now. There's no better time like right now to join FanDuel.com. 150 bucks in bonus bets guaranteed when you place a $5 bet. That's 150 bucks in bonus bets, win or lose. The app is so easy to use. There are so many different ways to bet like live same game parlays. Find the best bets in the new Explore tab. Make a parlay in the Parlay Hub and more. Visit FanDuel.com forward slash locked on to make your first bet a layup. Huh. Especially in Big 12 basketball. I made a lot of money off of Big 12 basketball thanks to TCU. I also lost a lot of money on Big 12 basketball thanks to UCF beating Kansas. But you can make money right now at FanDuel.com slash locked on. FanDuel is an official sports partner of the NFL.